Hi, I'm Michelle Olson Rogers, but some of you may know me as Modern Boca Mom. I'm so excited to be partnering with Cinch Home Services to show you some DIY projects, as well as some home maintenance tips to show you just how easy home management can be. So let's get started. Did you know that a running toilet can waste hundreds of gallons of water each day? Not only is it terrible for the environment, but it also drives up your water bill, which I try to avoid whenever possible. Luckily, most problems with a running toilet tend to stem from an issue with the flapper. So that's what we'll be troubleshooting today. Let's get started. Before you start, you'll want to turn the water off to your toilet. It's a little valve located usually right behind it. Then you'll want to flush the toilet so you drain any excess water from the tank to the toilet bowl itself. That will actually allow you to inspect the flapper, which is this round rubber seal that helps to drain the water from the tank to the toilet itself. Next, let's remove the tank lid and take a look inside. I highly recommend laying a towel down and placing your lid on that. That way it doesn't have any chances of being knocked over and breaking. Because it's ceramic, it can make quite the mess. Now let's take a look at the chain that pulls the flapper up, since this can cause issues if it's too long or too short. If it's too short, it will pull up the valve when it shouldn't, which will cause water to drain constantly. If the chain is too long, it can get stuck under the flapper and prevent a tight seal. If the chain is too short, move the hook up two to three lengths. If it's too long, trim a few lengths from the top of the chain. Once you have your desired length, reattach the hook to the new top link and to the flush lever. Let's now take a look at the flapper itself. You'll want to remove the flapper by unhooking the chain from the flush here, and then you're gonna wanna unsnap it from the overflow tube in the center of the tank. Inspect it for any signs of trouble, like mineral deposits or discoloration. If it's dirty, soak it in a bowl of vinegar for 30 minutes. If it shows wear-related issues, play it safe and replace it. You can attach your new flapper right here. See if I can do this? Anyone can. You just attach your chain to the top. Make sure that you take away a few links, make it a good length. All right, that seems good. Let's turn back on the water. And see if that was the culprit. The water is running, the tank is filling. I think we did it. And that's it. Super easy. Did you find this video helpful? If so, leave us a comment and let us know what tips you want to see from us next.